Let's start with your hair. Is there a meaning behind your hair? Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a meaning behind my hair. It, it mean, uh, for me, it mean a beautiful struggle. You feel me? I started growing it when I was in jail. And I just basically let it do what it do. I didn't really mind it. I know a lot of people in Florida, you know, they call them wicks. Um, it's heavy, they function with it heavy. But I just did it because I was, I was just, I was tweaking. I was tweaking, I was in jail, I was struggling. And um, it just symbolized what I was going through. Mm. How long is the growth we see today? How long have you been growing the length we see today, right now? 2015, probably like 2014, late 14, early 15. So about two, three years. Two, three years. Now, are you keeping it at this length that we see today? Or are you just uh, growing it out? Yeah, I'm just letting it do whatever it do. However, you know, it's, it's uh, low maintenance. You feel me? I don't really touch it. I don't play with it too much. I just let it do whatever it do. Any plans on ever cutting it? Uh, I don't think I'm ever cutting, man. I think that's, uh, you know, uh, I think it's my strength. It's my strength, and like I said, it symbolized my struggle, so it symbolized where I come from. And uh, it's been rocking with me. You hear me? Yeah. Any pet peeve with the dreads? Anything that bothers you about them? Uh, nah, I like, it. I like everything about them. Probably, you know, when I be performing and I'm sweating, um, they get, they, it's, it get irritable. Okay. You know, they be all in my face, they be in my way, but uh, at the same time, I, I, I function with them heavy while I'm performing too. It bring out the animal in me, so nah, I think everything platinum about them. What about women pulling on them? Yeah. Sometimes you could be walking through a crowd, maybe a nightclub. Somebody might nah, pull on be, you, try to get your attention. You know, we probably be smoking some dope or something, cool and bowling, big bowling, big and back. And uh, you know, they like to play with it, nigga. Shit, and they might, they might tamper with it. And uh, does that bug you? Yeah, I don't touch my hair. You yeah, know, some I, people don't like that. I, you know, I swat them like a little fly. <laughs> so hold on, watch out. You know, I'll be doing all that straight up. But uh, that's it. Now, what's something you've done to your hair you'll never do again? Anything? Yeah, I was putting oranges in them. You feel me? I was, I was uh, marinating them in oranges when I was in jail. That's that's what kind of uh, that was our grease. That was our that was our conditioning. And why would you never do that again? Slimy. I was, mm. I was, you know, I mean, it's, it's sticky, slimy. It's, 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 it's uh, I ain't in jail. I ain't going back to jail. That's why I never do it again. Something I've haven't seen until recently is guys, men, sporting fake locks. What is your opinion of that? I feel like it's fake, fake locks, fake jewelry. Mm. Uh, fake. They're one of the same. Yeah, fake lock, fake nigga, straight up. I mean, I ain't knocking nobody. I ain't got nothing against nobody with no fake locks. I ain't pulling up on you trying to determine whether or not your locks is fake. But, mm. you know, I just feel like uh, that's, that's what females do. That nigga jumping in the category of females, you know what I'm saying? He's swerving in the wrong lane. What about uh, coloring? Uh, dreads, uh, coloring your locks. I've seen uh, guys with uh, some crazy colors lately coloring their locks. Uh, are you opposed to coloring locks? I mean, uh, I participated in the hyphy movement as a young boy, so I, I didn't have color locks before. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't uh, know. But currently, you I, ha I haven't seen any colors on you. Nah, I'm going to keep it gangsta. I'm going to keep it gangsta. We just going to keep it jet black. You know what I'm saying? Royalty. But um, nah, I ain't got nothing against. I, I don't mind nobody coloring they likes you. I mean, sh shout out to them. They, it's, 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 it, it just it defines characteristics. It lets you know what kind of, what kind of, what kind of. They, they wearing they, uh, they character. They, you know what I'm saying? Me? Like, it lets you know what kind of nigga you dealing with. What's the public reaction you get to your hair? Maybe uh, out of state. 
out of your city? They look at me like I'm an animal. Like, you know, when I'm bailing through the airport, or, you know, when I pull up to the Cheesecake Factory, or just walk in any type of prestigious surroundings, you feel me? They, uh, they look, they, they could tell. They, they identify me with the slums. They could tell. It looked like I'm fresh out the slums. So, you know, you could just, you could sense it. You could sense the, uh, they fear me. I feel like they fear me. Discrimination, stereotyping, profiling, these yeah, type of things? Yeah, all that, all that. Has there been a worst instance with that for you? And and you might have felt your hair played into it? Nah, not really. Mm. Not really. What about uh, in and out of the system? Have you ever felt uh, that in and out of the system? Hell yeah, all the time. That's you, you right, police. You know what I'm saying? When they see the dreads, we in the law, they see dreads, they gonna pull that thing over, mandate it. Um, even in the streets, you feel me? We identify a lot of people by their dreads, the coloring of their dreads, the size of their dreads that might look like bruh. Feel me? So uh yeah, a lot of discrimination. My grandmother, she used to she used to make me cut my hair when I got in trouble. Mm. You feel me? Um, whether it was braids, dreads, you know what I'm saying me. So, hell yeah, I think uh, with, with just the way you look, the description, the description of a person. You feel me? Uh, it, it 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 it's it's like uh, you already guilty just by the way you look, just mm. by your characteristics. You feel me? But never bad enough to cut them. Never. Yeah, actually, I cut them. I cut them and try to square up, you know. Um, like I said, when you when you got them dreads, you look suspicious all the time. Mm. So uh, I cleaned up. I cleaned up for moms, cut them. You know I'm saying, put on a collar shirt, got righteous, <laughs> legitimate. But uh, like I said, I went to jail, and I grew these in jail. And uh, I, don't, I don't plan on cutting them. They, uh, these help, they help bring the success, the current success, you feel me? Um, I got people, you know what I'm saying, dressing up like the Mozzarella fella for Halloween. Ah, okay, you know that's me? happened. Yeah, so you know, we, we keeping these. 